So over the last few episodes of our Base Tales series, we've asked the same question. Who do you want to see next up? And one name kept on reappearing over and over again. John Myung. Well, you asked for John Myung, we have delivered. John Myung. In this video, John's going to tell you about his early bases, but he's also going to go into depth about his relationship with the music man Bongo and the development of it through the years. And if you didn't already know, the music man Bongo is actually designed in collaboration with BMW. How cool is that? Now, with that said, John, over to you. First real serious bass was uh, a Rickenbacker 4001. Being a big Rush fan, I had to have one. Early Maiden stuff was really great. Like Fan of the Opera. The sound that I need to hear when I'm up on stage is a lot different than, um, say, like the sound that we use for, like, when we make a record. There's a lot of experimentation with, um, we basically blending three different types of sounds, a direct, an amp, and uh, something that has uh, an effect on it. In respect to like the, the new record that we're working on right now, it, it's really kind of just the way the bass sounds. There's not a whole lot of um, processing going on at all. It's just straight up bass going uh, but right into the console. The first album was uh, a Stingray. And then I went on this journey of trying all sorts of basses and, um, and then eventually wound back up with, with Music Man in 07. Uh, there's just something about the bongo that was really cool. And that's one of the reasons why I love this so much. It, it's musical sounding and, um, and it feels very right in my hands. It, it has the right chemistry to the right proportion of everything. All right, so this is um, the, the model that was uh, made back in uh, 07, 2007, and it has the, uh, the fender spacing on the neck, which is, um, which is really cool. I mean, it feels great, but um, midway through a tour, my hands just started getting very fatigued and I realized that the portion of the neck was off with my hand. Um, I mean, it was all right at first, but once you start living with it on a touring level, um, you know, your hands just naturally get tired. Um, so I needed to find a way to kind of make it easier for me to play, which is why I started experimenting with uh, reduced uh, neck widths. And then this was what I gravitated towards. It was noticeably more comfortable. Um, so I knew I was on the right track. What I figured out was I didn't really need uh, too much uh, manipulation in, in the tone department. Um, I really liked the way the bass sounded. Um, but the, I thought the best way to capture that was to kind of just experiment with um, the, uh, the pickup wirings. So these uh, initial pots, which were um, blends and uh, treble and bass controls, were phased out. So essentially what I had here was just the volume and a, and a pickup combination, pickup selector combination. And this is actually a bit heavier than the final version being that it's made with uh, swamp ash wood, the body being swamp ash. This was like the ideal model for like the longest time. And then I moved on to this. And this um, actually has uh, the, the basswood body, which sounds great. 
and I also went with the uh, the five string body as well. The reason why I did that was when it when I picked this up, it, it was just noticeably more in balance than what I had. Yeah, the other one kind of felt heavy on on the body side, so which is why we kind of arrived at this, and we did away with the other uh, tone blends, uh, pickup blends, and, and bass and treble blends, and we just have a volume and a five-way pickup selector switch. Uh, in the middle position is just both pickups firing at the same time and as you move closer to the neck it starts incorporating more of the the neck position pickup in combination with the bridge and the setting that I'm using the most right now is to the right of center so so it's one click closer towards the bridge uh, another really unique thing about the the bass is the uh is the two tone wood blend um, which is a combination of uh, maple and rosewood. What's really neat about it is um, the uh, the different woods EQ the bass differently. So on the higher side, it sounds a little brighter. And on the low side, it's a little bit warmer. So 